What is up YouTube? We're here I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows Vista Starter in VirtualBox. This is an updated tutorial on how to install Windows Vista Starter in VirtualBox because I actually did a video tutorial on this one a while back in 2019 but it was causing some issues with the previous editing software at the time because I, actually, I was actually using OpenShot and caused the video to go off sync. So let's get this started. So the first thing you need is VirtualBox and the second thing you need is actually the video tutorial on how to install Windows Vista Starter in VirtualBox, the original video tutorial to be exact. So let's get this started. So we're going to click on new and you're going to type in Windows Vista Starter. And you want to make sure that you set it as Windows Vista 32-bit and then hit next, next. And I'm also going to have to set it to one gigabyte because that's the maximum that I can do and then hit next, create next next create and then you click on settings storage and then you're going to look for the empty disk and now you're going to look for the windows vista starter iso and then click on ok and then hit start it's going to boot up the virtual machine here and it should boot into windows vista starter Then right here you can select your language and then hit next and then hit install now. And then just click on next and then hit no. And then check mark I set the license terms and then hit next. And then click on custom. And then click on next because we don't have any partitions. And then it's going to copy files. So once that's done it's going to give you that restart point. You just click on restart now and then it should reboot do not hit any key to boot from the CD otherwise you'll go to a constant loop and then it should give you the second phase of setup you're just going to see a black screen for a few seconds and after that you should see that we're in the second phase of setup as you can see it says completing installation and then after that it should be black for a few seconds and it's going to restart and then do not hit any key to boot from the CD otherwise you'll go to a constant loop. And then once again it's going to restart. And now you just choose a username and picture. I just type in my name and then hit next. You can type in a computer name and just call it Windows Vista Starter. And then hit next. And then you I just click on use recommended settings and next and then public location and hit start and then this should bring you the welcome screen this might take some time but you don't see the actual uh, performance in this one Windows Vista Starter is basically like a bit of a lighter version of Windows that uh, used on like cheap laptops as you can see we're in the welcome screen and you should see the desktop and as you can see it says preparing your desktop and if this shows up just click on OK and then it should continue and then it's gonna take us some time to actually load because uh, it's gonna have to uh, like set up all the necessary stuff that it's gonna need and then uh, it, it took a while but it did get to the desk that well during that time when it's heading into the desk cell, you might see an error saying that the Windows movie well Windows Media Player setup utility has stopped working you should see it as soon as it hits the desktop this took a while but I actually jump cut it so I don't have to let you sit there and just watch the whole thing and this is where it shows up just click on close program and it should get you to the desktop and as you can see you have successfully installed Windows Vista Starter in VirtualBox if you just if I, if I hit WinR and type in WinVer 
you should see that we successfully installed Windows Vista Starter in VirtualBox. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also follow me on Twitter at Ruben Alpha 17. Also follow me on Instagram at Ruben Transit Fan. So that's how I installed Windows Vista Starter in VirtualBox. So I'll see you next time.